Hello, it's Andy from PCR Global with another one of our three to five minute uh, risk management videos from our real risk management series. Today I want to talk to you about a subject uh, I deem as critical. No surprise, I deem all these subjects as critical, otherwise I wouldn't be talking about them. But I want to talk out loud really because there's a lot of a lot of my thoughts and feelings have been driven towards this area lately, but it is an area within risk management that if you're new to risk management, it's an area to look out for. Um, if you've been doing risk management for a long time, maybe it's something that you don't consider in your evaluations of organizations or in your guidance that you give to MDs or senior management team if you're consulting. So the area is stereotyping. Um, stereotypes, there's a risk of stereotyping, the benefits, I suppose, as well of stereotyping, but stereotyping moving from stereotyping through um, prejudice and then ending up in discrimination. It doesn't always happen that way, but it can happen that way. So three to five minutes on stereotyping. As usual, we shall do our quick background check, make sure we are safe and secure. We do have some runners here and we have some bikers. And the last thing I want to do is get knocked over. So three to five minutes on stereotyping. First things first, as usual, where does the where does the terminology come from? It's always good to understand what words mean, not just our perception of the meaning. So it comes from the Greek word, uh, stereo, stereos and typos. So that's solid, stereo, typos, impression. So solid impression. And if we have a solid impression of anything, then that means our minds aren't going to change and we might not be open to change. Stereotyping, part of our social processes. If we think of the social processes in work, where we as individuals interact with groups, our informal groups and the formal groups given to us, whether that's our teams or cross-functional working, but our social processes in work. We interact with people. We develop our relationships. We have an understanding. Over time, our relationships may change as our perceptions of individuals change. But let's take it back to the start, that stereotyping. So stereotyping, um, we, we get told by psychologists, comes from our evolutionary past, whereby it was beneficial to put people into groups, into the in-group or the out-group. And this could benefit us by obviously recognizing those who weren't in our group and therefore benefiting our safety. But the risk with stereotyping is that groups aren't homogeneous. They're not homogeneous, they're not all the same. There are differences within those groups. Yeah, the risk is stereotyping moving across to prejudice. So the stereotyping is the, it's the cognitive component it's our thinking component and sometimes that can be we can't even see it it's just there so it's just there but it's not having an impact but when we move across to prejudice that then can bring negative feelings so this is the it's the feelings negative feelings that we can develop from that sort of unconscious potential stereotype and then the risk from prejudice, don't. The risk from prejudice is if that then moves across to discrimination. So discrimination being the behavioral component. So we've moved from cognitive, we've moved into affective, which is our feelings. And then we've moved into the behavioral component, which is then gonna impact on our actions. Not all the time, of course, depends on uh, the type of person you are. We talked a little bit before about our personality and our perception. Stereotyping has also been recognised as a, an area fraught with perceptual error. So, again, we're categorising those groups. There is a benefit, but there's also a risk. I often think stereotyping as so the battle, the battle is won or lost with the senior leadership team. 
it can be lost to the CEO because things come down and the MD. But also it can be lost on the front line with the, with the supervisors. If the supervisors are not switched on to this and, you know, never going to recommend to anybody, put all your guys, all your girls, put them all, all your teams on, on a lesson of stereotyping. But if we can somehow pass that information into them so they understand and then possibly reflect on how they are forming their stereotypes, potentially recognising when that is reaching prejudice, and then always preventing where that reaches discrimination. Again, for the for the senior management team, whether it's won or lost, think of the organisation as a system. Input, system, output. If your input is people with prejudice or discrimination, then your system is going to be fraught with that type of behaviour. People are going to be unhappy, and then we're going to end up where we said the other day about differential association, people trying to redress the balance. Um, when we're thinking about equity theory and inequitable relationships. So input, system, output. So it goes back again to, to HR, to the Human Resource Department, right at the very start. Who are we, who are we bringing into the organisation? Yes, people can sit under the radar and pretend that they're different. So that again leads into HR. Are we doing those personnel plans? Are we interviewing our people? Are we looking at them? Our managers managing, not just doing the actual job. So it is an area I'm, I'm really passionate about. I could go on for a long time, but what I'll leave you with is something quite symbolic, really. I've just walked up to somewhere I grew up. This is Lacha Castle. And if we think of the convergence of security and safety, I like to, I like to think of that as a convergence. This castle is built obviously up on the high ground. It looks over the estuary. There's been a fort here since the 1100s. Uh, right up until this day, there's, there's something here, but that's taking the high ground. It's quite symbolic because we think of the concentric rings of security we think of the concentric rings of safety right on the high ground is that senior management team who's got that foresight. They are looking out into the distance. They're taking note of the risks and the opportunities that impact on the organisation. So I've gone a little bit over time there, but it is such an important subject because it affects how people behave and how people feel. So thank you very much for watching. Um, one more thing, attribution theory. Have a look at attribution theory if you, if you haven't looked at that yet. So thank you very much for watching. One last thing for me as always, stay safe, stay healthy, stay productive. See you next time.